2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Royal Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Hello, I'm Luke Elvey, alongside 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam, who's in the booth. And it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi, Luke and Rich. Looking forward to following these two players again as they reignite their rivalry. I have a feeling we'll be in for some more exciting golf as these two battle it out. Well, it's certainly a great opportunity for this player to bounce back in this rivalry. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement that these two generate. And let's see what he can do here today. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Time for the second shot into the first. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Go to your home ball. Go to your home. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? This one, guys, he's got around nine feet. Looking for another birdie here. This one's online. Oh, look who's getting on a roll now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Currently two under for the day. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Well played, mate. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. Well, this one's right at the pin. Ooh, just skin the hole, that one. Oh, standing ovation after that shot. Heck of a shot, setting up almost a guaranteed birdie. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the fourth.
That's some good golf right there. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. I tell you what, they're set up quite nicely through the few still opening holes. Birdies galore. Going with the five iron here. This looks to be heading to the green. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Oh, that is brilliant. A bonus birdie. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Let's get back to it, shall we? Trying to get it to four under with this putt. Now that's how you roll the rock. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Here we are at the fifth hole. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Well, nice to drop a putt of that length. Well done. Fist pumps all round. That is how you do it from outside range. That was huge. Yeah, you'll take that. Good birdie. And with that, he'll move to five under par. He finds himself in a share of 14th position. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Here we are at Lachlan Cross in the sixth hole. It's one of those par fives that just feels like it's a, a tad too far to reach into. It is, especially when it's going into the prevailing wind, which is how this hole was designed. Go ahead and just bail out to the right. Avoid those bunkers completely. Then you can go ahead and lay up once again out to the right-hand side. Don't challenge the bunkers. It's not worth it. Not unless you know for a fact you can get on in two. From there, you're going to have a nice, simple pitch shot from, oh, I don't know, 80, 90, 100 yards to a green. Fairly undulating, but still just begging, begging to be birdied. Atta boy, good shot. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. <laughs> and this player's really going after it here, Rich. 
Absolutely love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. Time to turn our attention to Will Zalatoris. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. That was a gallant attempt. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Little birdie look in here. Trailing by four strokes. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Going with the 9-iron, I think. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. A spot in the top 10 awaits if they can make this putt. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And what a way to jump into the top 10. He finds himself in a share of eighth. We've reached the eighth hole. Wow, that's an incredible drive. Second shot here on the eighth. This is one of those great ball striking displays. Fairways and greens, a pleasure to watch. Sitting at five under for the day. What a shot, almost went in the bucket. Okay, time to return to the action. Important putt here, they make it, they're into the top five. And that's eight birdies today. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Time now to begin the ninth hole, Rich. Well, that's a handy shot. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And just with nine holes remaining, Rich, what do you think here is going to happen for this player? Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out. But so far, so good. Love watching these two compete.
Oh, that was pure. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Yep, I've paced this. He's got around 195. Going with the seven. This one's going right at the pin here. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. What an opportunity to make a birdie. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's feeling good. Just birdied the last hole. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The 11th hole at Lachlan Crossing is a strong par four, 470 plus yards from the back tees, and there's plenty to contend with, Rich. Luke, just that one menacing bunker right in the middle of the fairway that's going to drive you crazy as a player. However, you miss it. Now you get a second shot with, funny enough, no bunkers on the green. It's got a lot of undulation to it, especially on the front right part of it, so you can't afford to miss it there. Anything missing out to the left, though? Just fine, my friend. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That could play. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, he's trying to silence the young buck, Will Zalatoris, with that one. Really putting his cards out on the table. Brilliant stuff. And finishing this hole with a little tap in. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. Now teeing off on the 12th hole. That's tidy. Second shot here on the 12th. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Seven feet to the cup. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. He just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And here we are with the third shot. How close was that to going down? Well, you like the look of those hands. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The par five awaits here, but so does an opportunity. Take full advantage. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Oh, I love this type of carriage, Rich. Going forward in two. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Firm back up the hill, 
This will be a good one. This has eyes for the hole. Wonderful putt. And that puts some real pressure on their rival now. Oh, that was a touch of class. I wouldn't mind seeing that again. They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty. we catch up with Will Zalatoris. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? And there it goes from the sand. And back to the play, shall we? Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Midway through the closing nine here at Lachlan Crossing. This 14th hole is a par of four over 450 yards. Once again, Luke, just another gem of a hole. Massive bunker out there in the center of the fairway. But for most players, it's not going to come into play. Anything down the, just the right-hand side of this fairway is ideally placed. The second shot, you got clear, oh, I don't know, a lot of beach there to a green that's probably got more undulation than any other one on this golf course. A massive green, lots of opportunities to do good, but also a lot of opportunities to do some bad. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. That was special. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. This putter of about seven feet to the hole. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Beautiful shot. Leading by three strokes now. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Wow, that's bold. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, Rich, that's the special stuff. It's almost like the golf ball had eyes and it went straight where it belongs, in the hole. Second shot here on the 15th. Nice recovery there. Such soft hands. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. We find ourselves on a par three here. Good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for Birdie. Looks good. And there it is. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's flying high after that nice eagle on the last. And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. Oh, that was a tasty little morsel, wasn't it? 
And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader enjoys a five shot advantage. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That is right down the sprinkler line. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Yikes! That one had eyes for the flag the whole way. Oh, what a wonderful shot into the 17th and sets up another putt inside birdie range. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. And now that finds him in first place. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Good shot there. And what's in front of them there, Henny? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. And choosing the eight iron here. Should find the green. Wow, what a shot. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. A birdie putter waits. Not a bad line, this. That signs off on this player's performance for the day.